like like massive performance regressions like that right now all of these are being tackled so in a year or two mysql 8 will perhaps bypass 5.7 but it is having a little bit of a turbulent journey currently and postgres is clearly winning if you see if you notice right and maybe my postgres became popular because of this you know a little bit of a uh fumble if you will mysql fumble postgres became really popular and in 2023 is the most popular database you know and maybe 2024 is going to remain there will mysql come back i think it will i love mysql you need both you need you need these two pillar databases because they they just make or orth, almost orthogonal design choices and you cannot say this is better than this at all the design choices for mysql anno is very different than postgres and some people criticize postgres for this you know so so it all depends on what you're trying to do but that's why understanding the fundamentals of database engineering time for a plug someone had a uh, built a course that talks about fundamentals right you cannot read this article and understand anything without understanding fundamentals that's why you had, need to head to databases.when and get a coupon for fundamentals of database course more than 23 hours of gold content for you in design and fundamentals but yeah all databases are are great everything is has a pros and cons and we just need to understand it we love this stuff and i'm gonna follow up uh, this video with another video to talk about a very nice mysql 8 feature that i absolutely love compared to 5.7 and uh that is uh, blows five seven out of the window right performance wise in that particular case right so that out of the way i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye